Cyberpunk 2077 is a role playing game. And with that type of genre, there are a number of different choices that you can make which shapes the path for your character. And Cyberpunk includes these features. At the beginning of the game, you get to customize your character to make the look however you want. And you can also choose a life path. So in this video, we are going to be going through absolutely everything to do with life paths. What they are, what effect it will have on you for the rest of the game, and also the most popular life path so far. Before I do get into the video, if you do want to see any more content from me, I will be streaming this game daily when it does come out on the 19th of November and I will be streaming it on PlayStation 5. So if any of that is of interest to you, link to the Twitch channel is in the description down below. If you do want to talk more in depth about Cyberpunk with other like-minded people that are just completely in love with this game, then there is also a link in the description down below which will take you over to our Discord server. That is an ever-growing community and should be quite popular when Cyberpunk is released. CD Projekt Red have provided three different life paths for V, Street Kid, Corporate and also Nomad. Each of these are three different introductions to Cyberpunk and will have a lasting effect on V for the rest of the game. Introductions are incredibly important. This is where you'll see V in action and also V's backstory for the first time. This is also where you'll meet Jackie Wells, get an introduction to the game with the story, as well as the game mechanics. And with the three different life paths, there are three different ways in which it will do it. So it suits your playstyle. Starting off, we have Street Kid. The Street Kid path starts players at El Coyote Coho in Haywood. After being brought up on the streets, this version of V is streetwise and aware of the gangs, fixers and undesirables of Night City. In other words, V understands how hard it is to survive on the streets. V is given a job within this life path. A job to go and steal one of the high-end cars in a corporate garage. As V gets to this location, V gets in the car and just as V starts the vehicle up, that door is opened and a gun is pointing in his face. This is Jackie Well. Jackie Wells was also assigned with stealing the exact same car. And after a bit of back and forth between V and also Jackie, the NCPD officers end up showing up to arrest them both. Jackie is already known by the law. So there is a conversation between the NCPD officer and also Jackie. Whilst this conversation is going on, the actual owner of the car being a very powerful corporate man ends up coming downstairs to the garage and suggests instead of the officers actually arresting Jackie and V, that he just takes them over to the docks and drowns them both. The NCPD officer is persuaded, but Jackie and V somehow get away and end up bonding over this situation. Next up, we have Nomad. Starting as a nomad, players will find themselves on the outskirts of Night City in a zone called the Badlands. Nomads are outsiders raiding for scrap and free to be whoever they want to be outside of the city. They're also quite handy when it comes to vehicle and maintenance. We have seen that already with the gameplay that has been provided for this life path. With this life path, V has left his family behind and wants to go into Night City. To do that, V needs to meet up with someone so that V can be smuggled in. That person that he's meeting is Jackie Wells. V meets up with Jackie and Jackie takes V and also some contraband across the border. As they're going across the border, Arasaka officers end up pulling them over and this ends in a high speed chase where V and Jackie successfully take out the Arasaka officers and get away. And finally, we have corporate. Court players will find themselves already within the city center. Being a corporate means you'll do anything to win even if it means screwing over the little guy. You want to be one of the winners in the high fly shady world of Night City corporations. With this life path, V is tasked from his boss Jenkins to take out the competition. With this, V goes to the underworld where they meet their best friend Jackie Wells. So in the previous life paths, V needs to meet Jackie. Within the corporate life path, V has already been friends with Jackie for a very long time. Whilst V and Jackie are planning how to take out the competition, they get caught planning and V is stripped of every single benefit that they have with Arasaka. Jackie feeling sorry for his best friend V eventually takes him under his arm to show him the way and the life of being a mercenary. Each of these life paths start completely differently but do end with V becoming a mercenary. And even though these narratives at the beginning, these introductions do eventually come together towards the end, they do have everlasting effects on V throughout the whole game. 
and we don't know every single effect that will have on you. But examples that have been given and something that I did briefly mention whilst talking about these life paths is the knowledge that V would have. And this would unlock different dialogue options. So as a street kid, you will understand the streets more than if someone came in through Nomad or if someone was in Corpora. This means you have a better understanding of the gangs within Night City. And when actually dealing with these different types of gangs, you would know how to talk to them. So you'll have more dialogue options and that will give you a better deal if you're trying to negotiate or a better understanding of what you need to do for a specific type of mission. Whereas Corpora won't have that understanding of the gangs. But they'll have knowledge elsewhere. When Corporate V is talking to other corporates, that's when V can leverage the conversation. That's when V can negotiate or even get a better understanding of the mission. Where a street kid V wouldn't be able to do that with corporate. So depending on your playstyle and what you actually want to deal with in the game, there's better ways to pick which one you want to go to. So if you do want to be dealing with the top of the top of the top, the best in Night City, and you want to be dealing with these mega corporations, it's probably a good idea to go for corporate so that you can actually get more content for your playstyle. If you want to be on the streets dealing with the gangs, going to the different types of gangs within the city and actually unlocking content for those gangs, it makes sense for you to go street kid because you'll understand the lingo. If you don't want to be within Night City but you want to be in the badlands, the outskirts of Night City, you want to be dealing with the Aldercados and the Wraiths, then Nomad would be the best option for you. Gameplay is by far the most important thing so I would use the gameplay that you want to be a part of so that you can actually make your decision in which path you want to go for. But there are some other benefits. It can come down to the way that you want your character to look, that you can customize your character's appearance at the beginning. But when you do start out, you do pick a life path, there will be set items of clothing which will be suited to you. Now this is all up for changing. Remember, this is a role playing game. So just because you picked corporate V, you're looking very smart, doesn't mean that that's going to stay that way throughout the rest of the game. You can change it up. Likewise, Nomad and Street Kid V won't always look the way that they do. That style could later be upgraded to be something more like corporate V. I know a lot of people are really liking the idea of starting this game out being at the bottom of the bottom. So this means either going Nomad or even Street Kid. But later towards the end of the game being highly successful and actually looking like you own the world dressing up like corporate. Really nice fancy clothing. And this is the fun stuff with playing in a role playing game. Now going on to what is the most popular role with that we can't 100% tell. There's no way that I can actually survey and ask this question to every single cyberpunk fan. But here on the channel, what I've done is put a post together and it's had nearly 800 votes. I asked on the community tab. Crazy to think we are 25 days away from cyberpunk release and I'm still unsure what life path to pick. What is everyone else going for? 32% voted for Nomad, 38% voted for Street Kid and 30% voted for Corporate. This isn't a one-to-one -one comparison. This doesn't mean that this is going to be the exact same percentages that you'll see when Cyberpunk does release. But it starts to give a rough idea of what is the most popular. And at the minute, with this vote, Street Kid is taking the lead. And I think it does come down to what I said earlier. There are a lot of people that do want to start out feeling like they're at the bottom and that they can actually work their way up to the top. There's another level of progression on top of many other levels of progression that CD Projekt Red have added to Cyberpunk. Well, that is my theory anyway. This vote isn't actually too important. You shouldn't actually use this vote to make your choice with what life path you go for. This is just me being curious and I thought, you guys might be curious as well. As I said, this isn't going to be a one-to-one. -one. So once Cyberpunk is released, you probably won't get these exact percentages. But this is out of the people that watch me on YouTube, what it's starting to look like. Personally, what I'm going to do is have a number of different playthroughs. On the first day of Cyberpunk, I will be trying to go through each and every one. And I don't know whether or not CD Projekt Red have made it so you can have multiple save games or one account, or whether or not you need to have multiple accounts. Either way, I'm prepared for both because I have added multiple accounts to my PlayStation. So that way I can go through three different life paths at the exact same time. And also I can have another account where it would be you guys voting on stream of what you want to do in different situations so we'll just end up with something completely random and i think it'll end to some very very funny gameplay but despite going through every single life path there is one that i'm very very excited for 
and that is Nomad. I'm very similar to what I've been describing. I want to be able to start from the bottom and then work my way all the way up so I can be an absolute boss. But the other thing that I'm very excited for is races. And I've read and I'm not actually 100% sure if it's true or whether or not it's just speculation, but I've read that Nomad has a better understanding of vehicles and maintenance. So I'm hoping that this would link into races and provide a more enjoyable experience when driving around within the Badlands, as well as finally going to bring that vehicle over to Night City. So that's the one that I'm probably more excited for out of the other two life paths. But let me know in the comment section down below which life path are you picking and I'm also curious into why you're picking it. If you're interested in having the most random playthrough of Cyberpunk with just selecting completely random options, then I highly suggest going over to Twitch. I said I will be doing a playthrough where you guys in the Twitch chat get to decide everything. I'll be dropping out a number of different polls. So this goes from character customization to my life path to decisions that we actually make within the game. I imagine straight away that there's going to be some very funny moments and also some extremely disturbing moments. So it should lead to one of the multiple endings being incredibly weird probably getting something that not everyone is actually able to get so that is something that i'm very excited for and as i said if you're interested in that link to the twitch stream is in the description down below anyway i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to so see ya